Hey everyone, welcome back to the library. Our summer reading theme of Tales and Tales continues on throughout the month of July. So today we're going to take a look at a few DIY at home crafts you can do to benefit some of the smaller critters in your backyard. Bugs are a super important part of our ecosystem. Bees and butterflies, for example, are needed for pollinating plants to help them grow and flourish. However, due to new urban development in our towns and cities, our insect friends have a harder time finding a place to live. So let's take a look at a few crafts we can do at home to make our backyards more inhabitable for them so we can help them and our gardens and flowers flourish. The first craft that we'll look at is a backyard bug hotel that will give wild bees and other insects a place to hang out. For materials, you will need a large plastic bottle or tin can, sticks, hollow bamboo or bee tubes, leaves or pine cones, twine or string, and something to punch holes in tin or plastic. Screwdrivers or scissors work well for this. The first step is to use scissors to cut the ends off of the plastic bottle or a can opener to remove the bottom of the tin can. Next, punch holes in your container using either scissors or a screwdriver. A hole punch would work too if you have one. Bundle your sticks, bamboo, or bee tubes into the can or bottle and add leaves and pine cones to your taste. Next, take your twine and tie it around your habitat, leaving plenty of room for hanging it. Once it's done, find a nice secluded place to hang it. You don't want a nest of bees right by your back door. And enjoy. The next craft is more of a closer to home kind of habitat. Butterflies need a place to rest and rehydrate after a long flight, so puddlers are super important, especially if you want to attract the colorful bugs to your backyard. Making one is simple. All you'll need for this craft is a pie tin or some other shallow dish, sponges or flat river rocks, sugar water at a nine to one water to sugar ratio, or fresh fruit and water, stringer twine, and anything you want to use to decorate your puddler. Poke four evenly spaced holes into the top of the edges of the tin and thread this string through to make hangers for the puddler. Tie all four strands together at the top. Add your rocks or sponges and your choice of sugar water. Hang it from a nice spot, or you could even set it up on something more like a bird bath if you can't find a place to hang it. And there you have it, a new puddler to attract butterflies to your backyard. If you're trying to attract bees and butterflies, try planting some flowers they like. This includes plants like bee balm, butterfly bush, lavender, nasturtiums, or milkweed. Milkweed is particularly important if you want to attract monarch butterflies as it is their main food source. If you don't have anywhere to plant them in your yard, fear not. Many of these plants grow well in containers like flower pots. Here's a quick DIY if you're in need of a flower container and want to recycle while you're at it. You can use plastic cups with holes poked in the bottom and a little potting soil to get your seeds started or just plant young flowers from a nursery that are already blooming. Don't forget to poke the holes because your soil needs to be able to drain the water you give it so that mold and root rot won't set in. You can set your flowers out around and nearby the, your puddler and bug hotel to attract new guests easier. That's all for today's video. I hope these DIY ideas give you the inspiration to go out and make our world a little greener and our six-legged friends a little happier. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll see you next time.